The strumming section, which we get to with this second icon, is a powerful tool for playing harmonic and rhythmic strumming chord patterns based on the chords that you want it to play. It's powerful and it's flexible and it's complex. And in this video, I just want to take a big picture look at it and then we'll dive into the individual sections. We turn it on or off with the power button. And the idea is that we hit trigger notes and they'll play chords and patterns. And they incorporate different articulations, as you can hear. We can adjust the strum time, the distance between the notes and the strumming. We have the release time that we can adjust there, and even the stroke level, the amount of the pick sound. And we can remote control all of these via MIDI notes and velocities. We can randomize the timing, the separation of the notes and the velocities as well. Now, here we have a palette of different chords. We have up to 24 that we can use. We're viewing 1 to 12 here, and there's 13 to 24. And we can customize each one by choosing a root key, then the quality for the chord, and then version. And we can go through that for all 24. And we can also transpose the entire bank of chords to different keys. Now here we have a palette of patterns. We can load different patterns into here and we can customize what's here by clicking in these. And each of these represents different articulations and open strings so we can customize it. Like I just changed this one. Put an open string in there. And we can add a swing value, quantize it, and even change the time signature of these. We can drag this into the DAW if we want to work on the trigger notes and all the associated MIDI notes that are being used to operate the strumming patterns. We can control them within the DAW. And the way this works is we use different areas in the range of the keyboard to trigger different functions. Now we use the low octaves to trigger which chord we're going to be playing. So there I just hit chord 13. There I've selected chord 10. And then we use another range to trigger the actual patterns. So there I'm using different trigger notes to trigger different chords within this palette. Now we also have a detect mode, that's select mode. And in this mode, we use lower octaves to spell out the chord we want. For example, I'll hit these two notes and it's telling me B minor and then I can hit a trigger note to play that. I can use another two notes. Here I'm hitting A and C sharp and it's telling me A major. So two different ways we can either spell out the chords in detect mode or use select mode to select from this palette. So that's the basic big picture and we'll dive in deeper in the next video.